Tension, tension, class. Hi. Yeah, nice yeah exactly. Now you know how all the directors feel. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the best and the worst thing about being on tour with each other? Um, geez, the, the 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 best thing obviously is performing on this stage with thousands of people and, and with like the coolest people on yeah. that stage as well. It's like hanging uh, out with your best friends. Yeah. All summer long. <clears throat> I mean, the worst thing probably is that sometimes you don't get to see your family. But I mean, we, luckily we get to uh, when they bring thing, them out on the onto the shows. Yeah. The worst thing was international texting rates. Oh yeah, that yeah, was that's, the worst that's thing. tough. To be honest, oh, yeah. no, no, I'm like, it's all like the little me. things. Oh, yeah. this one's smart. Well, this that's because smart. you're Go Go Gadget. He, he's this guy's Inspector Gadget. Over I paid here. nothing, barely, like yeah, he, 20, he, bucks, he, 20, 20 bucks. He had all kinds 20 of pounds, dealings 20 euros. with like all kinds of crazy. Apple, like he, he would Apple have something going on. Like I don't know yeah. what it is. We have an affair. Yeah, but I like it. I'm jealous. I think the best part about tour is definitely each other and getting to spend time. I mean, obviously, getting the experience with the fans. Is amazing, yeah. But it was—it's nice to spend time with each other outside of the uh, Paramount lot, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like musical theater camp times a million. Yeah. So let's talk about them. So when it is in is in the movie, and yeah. this happened at the O2 Center in, in London. What was that like working with her? Is she in 3D? Yeah, it's yeah. Showing, yeah. Is this 3D? That was a 3D demonstration. <laughs> Those of you not Gwyneth, Gwyneth is amazing, and she looked incredible in 3D. Can I just say? Like very, I was just hot. saying, I was like, dang, Gwyneth, 3D is your medium. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't go back. Woo! Yeah. But um, I'm not gonna be able to watch Shakespeare in love in 2D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna put on the glasses. Yeah, I have to put on the glasses. For Shakespeare in love. No, she's great. Gwyneth is a part of the family, and, and she came for the filming of the movie in New Jersey, and then we actually, she was with her daughter and, and the O2 in London, and, and, and she just popped up on stage. Popped up and did her thing. Did her number, and popped back down and sat with the kids. So and I, I, feel, I feel like doing a, a show tonight. I uh, think I'm, I'm going to sing with y'all tonight. It's like, yeah, Gwyneth, we say, come on and up. She's like the yes perfect lady, she's a perfect woman. It's she's true. just a wonderful spirit, angelic, and regal, and just... Awesome and talented. We love her. Yeah, we love Super. her. Super. So, Darren, you're going to be taking over from Daniel Radcliffe. I am. It's crazy. Yeah. How, uh, what's, so what's going to happen to your what your performances in Glee? Um, I'll I'll be. And I'm taking, taking over your performances. Yeah, they say so we're all taking. Everyone's taking over. Blaine. Everyone's going to shift over. <laughs> and you'll take over my chain for a little bit, I'll, I'll and then we'll go back. Yeah, we'll take over. I'll be my chain. You be Blaine. You be Daniel Radcliffe. Okay, cool. I love it. We got this. Perfect. I'm glad we cleared this up because we haven't discussed this yet. Um, I'll be just uh, I'll be out for um, three weeks uh, for the performances and then rehearsals will be during what would be our, our holiday break and um, so I'll miss I think about an, uh, an episode episode and a half but I'll be right back in the swing of things so got a lot to juggle but I'm very excited I've made sort of a decent career out of you know following Dan Radcliffe's footsteps so this is kind of a natural next step for me. Would be the perfect guest to do a cameo? Totally. Yeah, I, I, Potter, musical Potter or something? Yeah, mu uh, Potter musical would be interesting. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Gosh, someone God. should do someone that. Should do someone that. should do someone that. Someone should do that at some point. I think mm. it could be funny. Mm. Yeah. Um, who, so who would be your ideal cameo? Each of you, if you can work down the line. Ideal cameo. Um, Christopher Walken. I love that. Yeah. Obama. That, oh, <laughs> yeah. Together. Both of them. Um, yeah, Harry and I, have, I think, both have been singing the uh, Christopher Walken song for a while. I think I've always wanted to have Christopher Walken yeah. on the show, as anything. Yeah. yeah. I think he'd be hysterical. Yeah, he's a song and dance man. You know, yeah, he's, he he's, he's an old school music People theater guy. People don't remember that. Yeah, he, yeah. he was. It's yeah. where he comes from. I mean, yeah. he's, he's a dancer, he's a singer, he's incredible. So. And lastly, Harry, are you, um, are you as bad a singer as your character? Mm. No. No. No, no the answer is no. no. The answer is no. No. I, I think you sang well on the show, to be totally honest. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we did have that stunt of, of sing and had a high-pitched voice. I mean, I'm, I'm not as bad as Mike Chang, and hopefully third season we get to address that, but we'll see. Harry's a great singer. <laughs> Harry's a great person. We've rocked out. We, we drove down to uh, we, we drove down yeah, to yeah, the two music festival together. We drove down to Coachella, Coachella, and we were blasting the entirety of What's the Story of Morning Glory, a great British record, and... Uh, we sang through the whole thing, and I know for a fact that Harry Shum can sing. It's true. Thank you. Thank you. So, so <laughs> we can wait.